hello guys welcome back so um in the last video tutorial we were able to delete the food item so when you click on the explore page i think double tap or delete um the food item okay you know that this functionality is supposed to be for the admin it's not to the user the user is not supposed to delete any food item from the database the user can only um remove an item from his his or her cart okay so the person is not supposed to delete the food item so when we get to authentication I'll, I'll upload a video maybe tomorrow but then when you up, um, get to authentication we will route depending on the user type so if the user is an admin we route to the admin page and then if the person is also um, a normal user or a customer we route to this particular page so this um, design this card item design here is for the admin okay so we are going to remove the buy and then the price i think the price will be there but then we will put the price here okay and then we will remove the buy from there because the admin is not buying the item we are buying so what i will do is i'll bring this one here okay this same card design here okay but then we won't put this thing on it okay but then we can put um, the price and everything there so that in this explore page you are exploring at the same time but then you can also buy at the same time okay because the reason why the buy the buy here doesn't make any sense to me at the moment because if the buy is here and then i click on the buy then i'm going to buy one food item okay and it's like you don't have any option here at the moment to increase the quantity that you want if, unless you have to come here before you come and increase the quantity here and that is not what i want so what i want is i want to make sure that the user is able to um, increase the quantity from here okay so this card design will go for the admin so let's um, work and fix certain errors so when you look at this i've been saying that we will fix this error but let's just do it and then go ahead so also i'm going to remove this um notification um, bell icon from there and i'll put it in the upper and also i'll put um, a cart icon here a shopping cart icon here so that we can increase the number based on what the person has um, has in his or a cart okay or shopping cart and then we can see the number on it so we we'll put the notification here and then the cart i uh, the cart icon there so let's fix this one so um if you like uh, this this will say um asset name is not supposed to be equal to no because you say the asset name not equal to no it's not true so that means the asset name is not supposed to be no but this time it is no so when we check here okay we check here we can say we can go here click on it and it takes us to the place because there's the frequently bought foods and this is the card we designed for it and we are trying to asset um access an image that is not available the reason is when we design this um food model okay we make sure that we pass in the food um i mean the the path for the image and this path for the uh, image is is what is no so we can't um actually get any image there so i'm just going to remove this one okay and i'll just put the assets image um launch.jpg i think that's the correct asset name let me check so in the asset images we have launch.jpg and then i can save it and see what we get so yeah so we are using one image for all okay so don't mind we are using that for all and i think it is okay so that image i mean that's um but when we upload an image here let me show you so when we go to the add food item and then when we click here to add an image okay we add the image from here we are going to display that image but for now we are just using this as a placeholder to just show what um, we intend doing so we have this okay now we have to remove this icon button here and then put it inside the uh, inside the app bar okay because if i put an icon i wanted to put a cut 
shopping cart icon here but if i put an I shopping cart icon there and then we have this icon below it it doesn't make any sense okay so i'll quickly go into the main screen um main screen file here i think here yeah, is the main screen and look for um i think it's supposed to be bell or notification okay let's check for the app bar so we have the app bar here um oh okay it's not in the app bar it's supposed to be in one of the widget that i created i think top info yep yeah so we have this icon here i'm just going to cut this icon because we don't need it here anymore i'm going to cut it and um let's save it and see so yeah that one is gone so we can now go into our main screen okay and in the main screen here let's look for the abba so this is the abba here and we can have some actions on the so actions are ready that you add to the abba when that can perform certain functionalities or they can just be images any widget that you want any widget so we are going to put this one as an icon button Okay, because I want it to be an icon button and the icon I'm going to paste what we copied here okay the little one um, a strat and then we can put um, this empty thing there so let's see let's save and see and now we have it inside there okay and um, this background making it um i think the scale food is having a background of white i think um i think the scale food should have a background of white because they are all looking white which doesn't distinguish the um let me see colors that white okay it's only one which is only for the upper anyway let's just forget about it so now we have this icon button and now we can add another um icon in the action widget which is the shopping cart okay let me just copy this code i just hope you are getting what i want to do here and then we can um let's see so we have this okay and then we can just change this one to icons that shopping cart i think shopping cart and then save okay so we have these two and the colors um looking at the colors let me just remove let me just remove the sizes it's too big in my eyes so let's save it and see how it looks yep it's okay now so um this one to um food delivery uh, let me just remove this extra um, thing I just wanted to do. Okay, put up. And then we have this. Okay, so if we want to put an icon, uh, we want to put um, a number on it. Okay, so that when the person, when the person add to paste our card, the person see the number of items in that card. Okay, so what we are going to do is I'm going to, um, let's say, create a new widget here. Okay, rigid, weird, cut, um, shopping cart, shopping carts here. And then I'm going to return um, a stack, okay? I, I think this is how I will do it if you have any other idea. And then cut this code from there, the icon button that we created, okay? Um, let me just... Um, I think I'll just cut this icon for now. Cut this icon and maybe put now for there at the moment and come here. And then put the icon there. Okay, let me save this. And then what I want to do is I just want to put this um, build, icon, um, build shopping cart there. Um, where is it? So here. Okay, now when I put this one, it's just like having the same thing there because um this will return the widget okay this will return the icon for us and it's still the same thing we are still seeing the same thing there okay after saving we still see the same thing now why do i want to use the stack the reason is you see most of the time you have this number on top of the 
of the icon and then you can see the items um in the the number of items in the side of the cart so i'm using this i'm using a stack in this sense that the stack i'll put a container um in between i mean a container in in the stack okay with the icon and then the container will overlap or will cover the the icon and then it will be like the art together okay so this is what i mean i'll quickly come here and say container here let's just give it a height of let's say 10.0 and then a width of 10.0 and let's say decoration okay because we are going to decorate i mean the border radius and all that so we can set the border radius and we can go ahead with border border radius that's circular and then we can put 5.0 so i told you that if you want to make something as uh, uh, if you want to make a container a circle you just give the height and then the width the same so that it becomes a square and then when it becomes a square i mean a square has the same width and then the same um, height okay they are the same so width and height are the same that becomes a square and then the radius okay the border radius is supposed to be um half of that um size okay so if you're giving this as 10 10 then it's supposed to be five but in flutter if you give more than the half then it's going to, it's still going to look like a, a cycle okay so we save this one and let's see let's give it a color okay let me just put a color here and um we can go ahead with colors dot red and let's save and see what happens okay so you can see we are seeing the red color there um so we have to find a way um of how to position it well so we can cut this code here and use the position widget okay so the position widget is to help you position a particular widget in a stack so you don't use the position widget outside the stack so you can put the chart here and then you can put this here so now i place my container code there and with this one if you put this you save it it's still the same because we've not done any positioning okay so we can see that here is on the left we want to move it to the right okay the far right so we can say right is supposed to be 0, 0 so that means when we are on the right we don't want to shift from the right we want to be on the right side so when i save it then it goes to the right because now i'm saying 0, 0 0.0 but if i say if i give it like something like 10 let me show you if i give it something like 10 and then i save okay then that means it should move 10 from the right okay so it moves from the right so if i give it 0, 0.0 that means i don't um need it to move from the right i want it to stay on the right side and looking at the top i want it to move to the top some more okay so the top now if i give it a positive number like 10 it will push it from the top to, to the bottom so if i save it this way then it's going to push it down because you're saying that oh move from the top to the bottom by 10 but if i give it a negative number then it's going to push it up because now i'm going negative in the negative direction now it is inside okay it's inside you can see the reason is because we are not using a container to wrap the whole thing okay we didn't give the whole thing a container so for example when i put a container here and then i um let's say height of 30.0 let's save it and see what happens you can see there's a shift but we still can't see anything um but let me just decrease this size okay let me show you something okay so you can see that this thing is still here okay and it's because of our container let me quickly um put a color here let's say colors dot red here and then save see something so you can see this container here um first let me do something um let me okay let me change one to white i'll change this to white okay save it because we are using um red on the other side okay so okay so now it's white so you can see that this um container is there but then we are still not seeing anything better 
So um, we have to do some positioning on the icon and also on the, um, okay, so let me just to, to just, let's just, I think the top should just be zero, zero. I think you just have to just forget about it. Um, and let me just remove this because this thing will just be complicated. Let me just remove this and then save it. Okay, let's put the red on it again and let's see. So we don't complicate it. So I think, um, I think this looks good. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's just save it this way. So we want to also have a text inside, okay? A text inside the red, I, I mean, red container. So we can come inside the container and have a chart. And we can use the center widget to make sure that the text is centered. Um, and then we can put a number here, save it, and uh, see what happens. Okay, so you can see the number there. But let's start this and test star. We can font size to let's say 14.0. We save it. And we can also um 14.0. We can also put the color there and colors that white. Okay, we save it. But then we still have to increase this um container size where is it um where is the container size yeah so we have to move this to 15 okay and then we also have to move this one to 15 and then when we save um okay so here's 15 so you see that we are not having any square so we have to move this one to 7.5 i mean 7. Dot five because half of 15 is seven dollar five and then it becomes a circle and it's too big and uh, let me just change the font size here to let's say 12 is okay um it still looks big in my put two two here and then put this here okay save it and let's see Okay, so I think this this one looks good to me at the moment. So this one is okay. So um, that's how we can design it. So any number that we have, we can just put the number here. So if it is more than nine, you can decide not to put, uh, you can just do it nine plus. Okay, something like this is okay. So I think, yeah, I think it's okay. So I think I will leave this video here. And then what I'm going to do in the next video is to um, make sure that we have um, something like a detail, detail page where when we click on any of the food item, whether from the explore page or from here, we can see the, I mean, the details of the food item. And then from there, the user can also add to the uh, the cards. Okay. So let me just stop here. I'll record the, the, the video soon. Um, so that should also be on board tomorrow, okay?